Project by Henry Farini and Stefan Mallet. Little Charlie Goes to Gloucester. One summer day, Little Charlie traveled with his mom to the city of Gloucester, Massachusetts. Gloucester is the oldest fishing town in America. Little Charlie helped his mama to open the summer guest house. She called it Ocean Wood because it was the woods next to the ocean. Here, Little Charlie fell in love with Gloucester. He played hide and seek behind the giant boulders at Stageville Park. He listened to the fishermen tell tales long into the summer darkness. They talked of giant fish and racing back to Gloucester with their ships loaded to the gills with mackerel and codfish. Charlie was born in Worcester, Massachusetts. His father was a letter carrier and worked for the United States Post Office. Something very, very special happened in that mail pouch because when little Charlie grew up, he, he became what's called a man of letters. That's someone who loves to learn and write about what he's learned. Charlie loves to learn about everything. When Charlie was older, he got a summer job at the Gloucester Post Office. He'd walk around the town delivering the mail. In a letter he wrote, his dad, it, he said, it was good leg training, and everyone was happy to see him. People love to get letters. Little Charlie loved letters because he loved to read. One of his favorite books was Mother Goose's Nursery Rhymes, and it was his favorite poem. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle up to his middle and never went there again. Lying in bed, little Charlie would read and read and read. He listened to the sounds of rhythm of the words. He listened to the surf crashing on the shore and the night birds sing. Out in Stage Fork Park, he'd sit on Table Rock, look out at the harbor, and read about the Native Americans who lived here long before the European settlers came to Gloucester. Exploring after a long summer rain, Charlie and his dad found arrowheads on the field next to Tablet Rock. He collected them and recorded in his notebook where he found them. One day, little Charlie decided to collect all of his favorite treasures. He assembled all his books and put them on a special shelf in his room. Mama called it his library. Do you have a library? What kinds of books do you like to read? In school, little Charlie began to write stories about going fishing with his dad during the summer. One story began like this. It all happened in Gloucester, the grand old fishing town of Cape Ann. About the middle of August, this summer, as it was the season for a silver cake, a fish come on in Gloucester. Have you ever caught a silver hake? Look how different it is from a codfish. Reading and writing made little Charlie a great student. He liked to read about Gloucester history. It exercised his brain. The more he read, the more his brain became stronger and faster. One day in the library, he found an old map of Gloucester. It's called the Champ Champlain Map because that was the name of the explorer who made it. Champlain was from France and came to Gloucester in 1604. That's when your mama's 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 mama was alive. It took a lot of mamas to make you. Little Charlie loved exploring every summer. He'd find some place new. He'd climb to the top of the hill behind Our Lady of Good Forage Church and watch the gulls fly over ten pound island. Sometimes he would cut through the cemetery and read the names of old Gloucester sea captains who went down to the sea ships or he would walk out to the end of the breakwater and read. One day he woke up early, walked over the, to the Half Moon Beach and rode out to the paint factory in the water was a baby white whale. The whale looked at Charlie, smiled and squirted at him, it splashed its tail and swam away. That night little Charlie dreamed of a giant white whale. Back home in Worcester, little Charlie's dad gave him a huge book about a white whale called Moby Dick. The writer of this book was named Herman M Melville. Herman calls Moby Dick a great fish, but he was no fish, he was a mammal. Little Charlie read Moby Dick over and over, and though without the courageous sea captains, he dreamed about other heroes like the red-haired Odysseus, 
and the Native Americans whose arrowheads he found. Meeting Moby Dick inspired him to learn more about the sea and history. And one place he learned about was Dalton. It was one of the first places Europeans settled when they had, le they had come to this country. It was the center of the island, in the forest, away from the fierce winds. Courage. Way back then, every sad Sunday, a fisherman named James Mary would wrestle a bull calf in Dogtown. All the people who lived in settlement would come out and watch the handsome sailor fight the bull. It was like a rodeo, and the adventures of her sillies rolled into one, and it happened right here in Gloucester. One summer, little Charlie worked on a fishing boat. He was a spotter and would stand on a platform that extends out from the bow of the boat. Little Charlie would look down into the water and watch for stored fish as the vessel cut through the waves. Charlie had sharp eyes. When he spotted a fish, a fisherman would heave a harpoon into the water. Charlie spotted many fish that day, and all the fishermen were happy. Eventually, little Charlie grew up. Some people called him a giant. He was six feet, eight inches tall. Charlie wanted to keep learning, so he went to college. At school, he studied, studied American history. When Charlie graduated from college, he became a teacher. He wrote a book about Moby Dick, and he was the president of the Black Mountain College, a place where teachers and students lived, worked, read, and learned together. At different times, he taught one American president and worked for another. Charlie's books taught people a different way to look at the world. He wanted us to dig into the place where we live to find out why it is the way it is. We can all discover new things about where we live. Get a magnifying glass, some binoculars, and a telescope, or a book. You'll be able to see up close and far away and be in two places at once. As you explore, you learn and exercise your brain. Record your observations, write a poem, or draw a picture. And if you go to Gloucester, climb up to the top of Tablet Rock like the Native Americans who lived here years ago. Look out over the watery part of the world. There, just like little Charlie, you'll see the fishing boats coming home with flocks of seagulls following. Look closely. On deck is a fisherman doing what fisher people have been doing from the beginning of time. Little Charlie with his first fish. So, what'd you learn about Charles Olson? Charles he, Olson. He liked to learn and read. And he really liked the Gloucester. And his dad um, was a postman and he put him in his sack so that and then something magical happened we're kids big fan of this book um we're um yeah it's really good you should buy this it's only twelve dollars and um no sense no sense so this have is, a good day i'm bye. jack and this is isaac yeah bye day bye Purchase Little Charlie Goes to Gloucester. Please visit www.farinaproductions.com. There you'll see our video and cheerio.